and this is Kalina with uh, You Renew You and so I am back to talk about my top uh, six essential oils that I recommend for my wellness clients so as a recap the top six are um, eucalyptus bergamot basil um, grapefruit, essential oil, ginger, spikenard, and um, which one did I miss? Ginger, grapefruit, bergamot, eucalyptus, basil, ginger, and spikenard. Yeah, those are my six. And so in the last video, I discussed grapefruit. And in this one, I am going to discuss eucalyptus. So please forgive me, I wrote a lot of notes because there's a lot of information that comes with eucalyptus and I don't wanna miss the highlight. So again, the two brands that I love to use, um, not to diss any other brands, but it's just the one I personally use myself and so therefore I recommend um, Dr. Axe's Ancient Apothecary and J. Bloom. So with eucalyptus, there's two different, there's two main brands. Um, well, two most common used brands. There's over 500 species of eucalyptus actually, but um, two of the most common are eucalyptus radiata and eucalyptus globus. Um, globus is probably the more stronger of the two, but both still have really, really great um, properties and benefits, very, very similar in its usage. So for my clients, I recommend eucalyptus because it is considered the oil of wellness. So goes with great in the wellness space. Um, so eucalyptus reveals patterns of thinking that continually create poor health. It also encourages them to um, to let go of their attachments to illness. It also encourages individuals to take full responsibility for their own health and teaches how to claim wholeness and heal. So a really great essential oil um, for wellness clients. But not only that, eucalyptus is a powerful, powerful antibacterial oil, antispasmodic, antiviral, antifungal, antimicrobial. It's just one of those essential oils that you really need to keep, really should keep in your medicine cabinet. Um, for example, a 2014 study from VIT University showed that staph aureus was completely uh, lost viability when it came into contact with essential oil, with eucalyptus essential oil. Um, so let me quickly go over some of the highlights of essential oil. So sorry if I'm reading, but I want to make sure I capture all the highlights because there's a lot. So traditional medicine of the Australian and Tasmanian natives um, prize eucalyptus leaves for the its reduction of fever and its anti-infectious properties. And in fact, burning of the leaves was one of the earliest forms of fumigation as it was used to ward off insects. And even today, it can be used to repel rats. So very, very effective. And it goes back years and years and years, thousands of years of being used for medicinal purposes and practical pur purposes. So one of the top reasons is that eucalyptus is one of the best essential oils for sore throats, seasonal um, allergies and headaches, its ability to stimulate the immunity, immune system, provide antioxidant protection and improve respiratory circulation. Um, it's an amazing anti-inflammatory agent. Uh, yeah. Eucalyptus contains one eosinophil or eucalyptol. It contains about seventy to ninety percent of that chemical property. So that particular property makes it very, very effective. It has an anti-inflammatory agent, an antioxidant, even pain relieving. So if you have arthritis or colitis or something like that, um, very, very helpful for that. It is. Like I said, um, really, really good as far as sore throat and a lot of respiratory conditions. 
um, ideal for congestion. I love this oil for my girls, my babies, um, when they start getting all that upper respiratory stuff. Um, diffusing it or making a topical um, salve or something like that to put on the chest. Um, also improves ear infections, so the symptoms of ear infections. So um, you put it around the ears or the temples or whatever um, can help relieve the congestion that you get from an ear ache and helps to dry up some of that fluid that can be caused by infection that's building up. Um, really great purifier because it actually removes toxins and germs from the air when you diffuse it. You can use it as a scalp tonic because it relieves the itchy and dry skin and dandruff. Um, really great pan, foot, and skin cleanser. Be really, really good with grease. Um, but you can use it for a wide range of skin conditions, including like abscesses and um, dermatitis and insect bites and that different things, which is why traditionally it's used, eucalyptus essential oils is used as a healing ointment. Um, you can use eucalyptus as a cleaning agent. Very, very powerful because of its high antimicrobial properties. So it even fights against molds, which is, I'm in Florida, so um, molds is one of those things we have to fight all the time. Um, it's actually effective as a stain removal remover so you apply a few drops on a clean white washcloth and rub out the stain of course you have to check the fabric to make sure it's compatible with the fabric that you're using so i would use it in a small spot that people can't see just to make sure that it's compatible with the fabric but otherwise can be used as stain for stain removal um can be used as an air freshener air freshener and odor control, um, so many uses, antifungal, so if you have like candida or like a toenail fungus, you can use it against that, so lots and lots and lots of benefits, um, so again, one of the top oils that I recommend for my clients in wellness space, but on top of that, it's just one of the best oils, um, if you've never tried essential oil, one of the best oils to start with, one of the best oils to keep in your medicine cabinet, um, can be diffused or applied topically with children. However, you must dilute it appropriately based on the age. So I would consult a professional reference for correct dilution ratios prior to use. And, and eucalyptus essential oil is not one that I would ingest internally. Um, it's not hasn't been proven safe, regardless if it's USDA certified organic or not, that particular essential oil I would not ingest. So topically or diffusing and to make sure that you get the appropriate um, dilution ratios for whatever the purpose you're using it for. So that is my quick tip on eucalyptus essential oil, and I will get back to you with some more information. You guys have a great day.